Hello darlings, hello, um, I hope you are well, it's your favorite big sister here, um, I just thought let me quickly say hi, I just got back home um, from um, an outing, a lunch with uh, my friends, so I thought before I change and put my pajamas on, let me just come through and say hello and welcome you to the new vlog and if you are new here you are welcome my name is Bonagele and i hope you'll enjoy your stay here uh, let me give you a quick fit check this is what i looked like today um i wore a half turtle knit and and i wore this um layer i layered it with this top um, I think both the knits I got from PQ could be a long time ago. And I put this belt on. It's an old Mosimu Duty belt that I've had for a long time. And then my pants are Woolworths Studio W. They're also quite old. And then I wore, I wore my favorite trench coat from poetry and then i wore these shoes they are my new purchase which you have seen uh, from europa art they are so comfortable and then i had this bag on this is from um, joe pocket it was a gift from my sister a few christmases ago so yeah this was me today uh, i'll be showing you some of the snippets from our lunch today we went to um, the North Cliff and um, we had the um, four course meal today, which was so lovely and so enjoyable. Yeah, we thought we'll treat ourselves. We try and do that at least every quarter, just go out to a nice place and treat ourselves to good food. So, yeah, that's what we did today. All right, then, my darlings, um, I'm back home now. I passed by checkers um, to get some stuff that I needed. So I'm going to I'm going to show you some of the things um, that I got, and I will close the vlog for today, and then we'll continue in the coming days. Alrighty then, um, love you so much. Mwah.
Okay, my loves, as I said that I went past the shops on my way home, I'll quickly show you what I got. It's not much. It's just top uh, things to top up. I bought um, prawn uh, meat. I, bro I bought chicken wings. And then I bought this um, oven crisp fish. These were on special. And then I bought this salted butter. And then I bought this uh, parmalat cheese. It was on special, hence I bought the big one. And then I bought eggs. I bought my lactose free milk. I bought um, this olive chia butter bread. I bought a popcorn. I bought um, provitas, pears, grapefruit. I bought chai tea. I love chai tea. Um, I bought pretzels. These lays are to die for. <laughs> and then I bought some sweets. And then I, I go. And then I bought noodles. Uh, this is the vegetable flavor. And this is the chicken flavor. Um, I'm not a noodle person, but yeah, I've recently ate them and i thought ah, they are a, quick, a nice quick um meal so yeah and then i bought these uh, sashable cans um, and then i bought this muesli i love this aspen brand because they they are music granules muesli granules are actually soft they're not hard they don't need you to soak them in yogurt for long so i love these and then i bought um two of these uh, olive uh, canola and olive oil blend these were two four hundred rand which i thought were cheap and then i bought my coffee oh see I'm, i love this coffee but it's so expensive <gasps> you know it's one of those things i buy with the attitude you're good thing yes <laughs> but yo, it's so expensive but yeah i love dough egg bread and then i bought myself some flowers um yeah that's what they look like so yeah these are just um some of the things i got all right darlings i'm gonna close the vlog off here for today um thank you so much for watching um i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and uh, we'll continue with the vlog uh, for the coming days but yeah uh, have a lovely evening and enjoy your holiday um tomorrow all right then Mwah. hello darlings hello darlings welcome back to another day in this vlog um yeah i hope you are good i am um it's a happy youth day um even though i know the date was the actual day was yesterday, June 16, but we um, the holiday is today. And I know that there's a lot of um, commemoration events across the country. Um, yeah, about uh, what happened in June 16. I was three years old um, on that day. I don't have a recollection of what was happening. Um, I don't remember nothing. So, yeah, but I mean, obviously over the years, um, I've read about it. Um, there's a lot that has been said about um, June 16. So I hope you're taking the time um, to reflect, you know, in terms of things that transpired on the day, um, things that the young people at the time were crying about and were fighting for, and how that has had an impact maybe in your life on a personal note um, or in your communities or whatever. And I know that the impact may not feel like it came from that time directly to you, but there's been um, ripple um, things, you know, that would maybe have led to the actions of the day having an impact on your life. So I hope you've had the time to reflect. I certainly did. And um, I realized that um, young people even in this day still have challenges it might not be the same ones as that time but they still have challenges um systematic uh, challenges you know they talk about this country not um, like apartheid having been 
um, having been gone by virtue of papers being signed that um, it's not um, apartheid is, is no more. But the reality in the times that we live in is that systems still have traces of apartheid. Um, institutions still use certain policies, certain um, uh, a way of doing things to marginalize other people. So it might be gone in paper and it might not be as, as um, visible as it was previously where things were done to people in full view, like demanding that people carry documents to prove that they are South Africans and things like that. So it might not be at that level, but it's, it's actually at much, much deeper levels because if something is entrenched in systems, it has much, much uh, more um, negative impact for a long time. Um, so yeah, um, young people are still facing a lot of um, similar challenges. Therefore, um, um, it, it, it needs uh, everything. It needs people to think differently and not just take things um, in a, as a status quo, but to think and um, find out what are the ways that um, one can influence certain things. But yeah, I've just been thinking about uh, those things. And one thing that also just sort of stood out for me as I thought about the happenings of um, uh, June 16, 1976 was that the young people got to a point where they were like, okay, this is enough. And they came together and they did something about what the issues that they were having. So um, what I'm, you know, my thought was, Therefore, it's important that um, unity is important to come together in unison, to speak the same language, to behave um, in accordance to what you want to be heard about and do something about it. So, um, yeah, young people should think along those lines, uh, supported obviously by all the people. And um, any other group of people, if there's one thing, a particular situation that is a challenge in your corner, in your community, and so forth, it, it, it would be important to come together around that issue, speak in one voice, and make your um, concerned, concerns be heard to the relevant people, relevant structures, and so forth. But I think the, 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 the trick is... Um, coming together in one accord. Um, I think it's one thing that will enable us as people to be able to make, 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 um, what, what's the English word? Um, well, the, the word escapes me, but to make a way and in terms of the things that you you know, are having issues about or to gain traction in the things that you want to be heard about. So yeah, that's just my tiny little bit about this day. Um, I just thought, let me come through today. I just want to do some, a few things around the house. And I thought, let me bring you along. And I just want to make a disclaimer because one of my family members who is probably going to watch this vlog might accuse me of theft. <laughs> <laughs> because this cap is definitely not mine. I did not take out money to buy this cap. And I suspect that it belongs to one of my family members. But I found it in my wardrobe. So yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But anyway, jokes aside, guys. Um, let's, um, yeah, let me do some of the things in the house and come along with me. Um, uh, Hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday. Um, yeah. Mwah. So I decided to spray paint some of my decorative um, items because I was just not liking the browns um, anymore. I'm not uh, liking the brown items in the entire house, actually. Even my coffee table and my... TV stand and the decorative stand. I'm seriously considering painting those uh, as soon as I have time 
one of the things that i do like to do is to repurpose items um yeah i'd i'd rather repurpose an item uh, first and see if it works out um before i run out to the stores to buy something new so yeah it's one of the things i i certainly do like to do so yeah i spray painted this because i was just wanting something a little fresh something a little light because the brown was just not doing it for me anymore so yeah that's what i did